be going to the same size store or bigger or smaller? It's probably the same size. Yeah. Yeah. Would you be sandwiched in between two stores or at the end? Uh, probably. Well, I don't know exactly yet because I, I, I make talks with um, the landlord who owns a lot of the, the stores. And she's unfortunately, she says that there's, she, she thinks there's two stores that are coming up up uh, on the same side of the street, just down towards the corner. Right. Um, which would be great. Now, uh, are they, any of them on the corner, right? On the, uh, no. More or less in the middle. In the middle, yeah. Well, well we be... parked in, in a parking lot behind the main drag there, and we were just, you know, when we had, uh, where did we go? Oh, yeah, we went to a place, we had sushi. This, where's? The sushi restaurant. I forget that main drag. Han Hanu? That, it must have been in, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Where it's pretty is good. Foxes yeah. is on 110. He's got right on, on 110? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's not on the same street you are, but no. further down. Well, actually, believe it or not, I didn't know this. I mean, it's Tim Costigan came into the store St. Patrick's Day <coughs> weekend. They had, they, had a, they had a St. Patty's Day parade in Huntington. Earlier. And yeah. Tim, Tim came in with, with George McPhillips. Oh, yeah? Because George works for Foxes. Father, the son. The son. He works for Foxes. Uh, uh, and he goes, this is the store that we used to, the, the rent and our land. He said that he said the store that we're in now yeah. was the store that Foxes used to rent. I don't remember it being there. I thought it was down the street more. Oh really? That's what he claims. And and then the landlord said that to me, and I went. I kept going. This is not the store. I don't remember it being the store. I but I didn't know he had a store in Huntington before like yeah, that. Yeah, he started. Size. He started. Yeah, that's he started that size in nineteen. I'm gonna guess ninety, ninety one, something like that. I thought the one in Minneola was the first one. It was. It was. Mineola started in 1989 or 88, something like that. Yeah. He well, technically he had he was doing the flea markets, then he but he had a store in, in Hempstead at the hub center, of course, of A and S, a little tiny, right. you know, thing. But uh, wants to get up. Um, but yeah, he 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 had out there. Then he 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 moved to the side street, of course, from Hanu, and he bought a building out there, which he rents out to a Japanese restaurant, a Thai restaurant now. Okay. Um, but he owns that building. But now, now he built the. He, he bought. He bought a building on 110. Tim said they got a good deal. Tim gave me the whole tour of the place. Um, uh, but it's a it's a 10,000 square foot store. It's a pretty big store. Yeah, it's a big store. There's one floor. Two. Oh. They have an elevator and stairs. Um, but uh, Bob or foxes, but Bob he owns one, two, four buildings in Mineola. Really? Two in Huntington. One in, he built one in Atlanta. He's got technically 17 stores now. He's an entrepreneur. Yeah. Who runs it for him? Oh well, he's got a little different managers. You know, women that there. But from what I hear from Tim, he's got a whole wall of monitors that each store is is linked with cameras. And yeah. Bob is looking at like gets a little obsessed. According to Tim, you know, I don't think it's yeah. Correct, but I remember you were telling me about gets, gets, you, you, looks you were able to check on a couple of stores. If I remember, well, I, I think he's got all the stores wired now, every single store, in his whole office. He's got monitors. He's always scratching the seat. Just a little few. Hey, what you doing, kiddo? How about the that imbecile at Cedarhurst? They still bothering you? No, they gave up. But they, but they were very, very nasty. Uh, of course. I, I think they, they, they're responsible because right after we moved into our current location, our front window was all scratched up. Really? Yeah. That's the mentality of what we're dealing with. Yeah. 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 You're a real imbecile. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They made a lot of veiled threats yeah. to us, you know. But I mean, at the same time, you're, you know, that's the end of them. They, they have no case to begin with. Well, I, I'm under that impression. Um, I met with our attorney two weeks ago, and he um, he said time is our ally. He goes, nothing has been done on this case. Nothing. Nothing, and nothing ever will. That's what I'm hoping unless, for. Unless they want to spend money. Right. Right. And they don't want so, to spend money. What, what's what's the about the case, Tom? What was it? Well, we broke our, our contract, our lease. Because right. our everybody was hurting, and we tried to renegotiate our, our our lease with them, and they they didn't make it very attractive. So we had we refused to budge. So that's the reason why we changed it from Tommy and Co to Zoe and Co. According to counsel, our various right. attorneys, they they said that this way we're most insulated for a lawsuit. But it, you know, it seems it seems uh, 
that, you have that, a whole that we overdid it. And a new, a new tax ID number. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, new corporations, yeah. Right. But I think we, we might have overdone it. You know, we could have possibly yeah. stayed as Tommy and Co. I don't know. Yeah. But we overprotected ourselves, so. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's the deal, you know. But, um, but, but what happens, the agent that dad was referring to, the, yeah. the, their, their family. They're crazy. Great. Something must have happened that they didn't get money somehow. They, they were probably gonna, gonna uh, uh, this would like this would make sense to right. me. I don't know. Yeah. But it seems like the way they reacted is that th it cost. Th uh, they wound up losing money or something, or not getting the ability to acquire some money. Right. They didn't lose money. They just didn't make as much money as they wanted. Something. Right? Something. Right. Yeah. And they they reacted so uh, bad badly. Yeah. Some people like that. Yeah. Oh. They're probably making so much. Some sorts of representations to the landlord, you know, for whom they're the agent, that weren't true. And the guy was saying, you know, cut, cut up with the money or keep your mouth shut. They prove, you know, prove it. And they couldn't prove it. Let me, let me tell you, this is what happened. When well, this is the real estate agent. This is not the landlord. This is the landlord's manager. Manage, managing, managing agent. Managing agent. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, what happened was, was this. Maybe you can yeah. shed some light on this. I mean, I didn't tell the agents anything what we were doing. Well, it's none of their business. So right. we were just, we found a spot down the street. And it, it coincided with a time frame when we, when there was a, a, our yearly sidewalk sale in Cedarhurst that we can clear a lot of inventory. Right. So I, I, all I did was submit the, the $20 filing fee for us to do the, right. yeah. and the person who worked on the, on the bid, the business improvement district yeah. for Cedarhurst, knew, recognized my name. Right. And said, oh, I didn't know you were starting a new business, not knowing that we were canceling the other one. So a few weeks go by, and there's a bid meeting yeah. in which another retail agent that's w within this, the, the land, right. that works with the landlord, but it's not these people, right. but attended that meeting and heard that through this woman, we were starting a business down the street. So the next day after the meeting, the gel, the, this, this, this uh, other real estate agent yeah. came in and said to me, I'm going to put up for rent sign in your window. I said, no, you're not. He goes, he goes, he goes, no, we had the legal, legal right to do so. And I said, I'll get my attorney to contact your attorney. You are not doing that. He goes, look, he goes, okay, okay, we don't have to get attorneys involved. When are you leaving? This is, this is what he said. Now I'm thinking that he's, he's, he was sent in by the managing agent. I said, couple of weeks. I don't know, just, you know. You're talking about the old store now. The old store, yes. Yeah. So I go, a couple of weeks. So I said, he walks out. A few minutes later, the wife of the, of the managing agent comes in furious at, at me, saying, how dare you do that? How did you, I, everything we've done for you, I'm like, what have you done for me? She goes, and she goes, and you, and you, you told them that, that you were moving down the street? I said, I didn't say anything, I just said we were moving out. And, and she's getting all, and she's yelling and screaming at me. I go, what's the matter? She goes, we'll see you in court. I go, yeah, I understand that. Don't worry, you know, the whole, that's the whole point, the intention that we have to go, we'll go. I, like. But she acted, oh, and then everybody, all her, all her kids were, were hissing at Claudius, writing these terrible things on Facebook, like without saying her names, like really disgusting things. And, uh, and, and all of a sudden the, the, the window got all scratched up, or every, every time you put balloons or something out on the street, they got, got popped oh, and, yeah. and uh, things were defaced, uh, right. you know, just it's ridiculous things. But it just the, just the mentality, the psychology, psycho, psychology.